Hello, this is a video about using Genesis Simple Hooks plugin and it's made for the Genesis framework. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to add a banner here under the navbar that's just a big picture of uh, this is for a doggy walking service. I'm going to add a big picture there and then we're going to add some code up above here and then we're going to add a conditional statement to make it only make one of these things only appear on the front page. So what we're going to do first, I've installed Genesis Simple Hooks plugin. So now I, I've, and I've got Genesis Framework installed on my WordPress site. So I go to dashboard, dashboard, Genesis, Simple Hooks, and each one of these text boxes relates to a hook above each text box in the in the um, Simple Hooks dialog you've got the name of a hook and there's 50 different hooks that you can use so first of all we need to know where on the page um, at the hook is so we want to put something here underneath the nav bar but we need to try and find out where that hook would be so we need to go to a website called genesistutorials.com and here there's the visual hook guide so if we click that button and then we look on this visual hook guide to try and find the hook that corresponds with the bit of the page we want to use. Now I want to use underneath the nav bar here. So I've got to try and work out which hook that will be. And on the um, the website that shows you all the hooks, I think we will need, how about this one, Genesis Before Content, that one will do. So you copy the name of the hook or type it, type it out and this one is Genesis before content. So I'm gonna go back to simple hooks. The easiest way to find this, because there's 50 hooks, it's a nightmare finding them all. So what I do, I just, if, you, if you're using um, Firefox, just press Control F, brings up a search box, type the name of the hook in, and then make sure you've got the right one. This one is Genesis before content sidebar wrap, so it's slightly different. This is what I want, Genesis before content. But I, don't, I need something to put in there. Now you can either write the code by hand or you can just use WordPress editor to find something you ought to, to make a post basically. Now all I'm going to do is put an image in this particular page. So I'm going to put this big doggy walking banner in the page. I want it to be a line center. I don't want to link to anything but I want the full size image. Insert it in the page. Now if I wanted to I could put some text below um, but at the moment I just want this banner so I need to, once I've made the post the way I want it don't click the visual uh, tab, click text and this will give us the HTML we need to paste into simple hooks so we copy that and then we go back to simple hooks to the hook we're going to use so we're now in it's a long dialog box is this one we're in dashboard, genesis, simple hooks I'm going to paste that HTML code in the box that, that's not the one I wanted is it? That's the one I wanted, paste it in the box that corresponds to the hook that we're using and this is the hook I'm using so I've pasted the code in that box. Now we need to click save You've got to scroll quite a long way sometimes to find the save buttons on simple hooks. So let's see if it's changed anything. This is what we had before. And I wanted a picture of the like the doggy walking banner to go there. And there it is. We've pasted it into simple hooks. Now, really, what simple hooks is, if you imagine each one of these boxes is a little bit like the, the content box in WordPress. So when you make some content. This, this dialog box here is a little bit this is a little bit like the each box in simple hooks but you you don't have the WYSIWYG editor the the buttons to press and things like that so you've got to write the code yourself or do it like we did just get it out of um, make it in WordPress but that's basically what it is this this box is li really a little bit like that box but this one only puts things in your post position on your page so I mean uh, when you make an ordinary post it goes here but using the simple hooks boxes you've got 50 different positions you can put things in 
Right, what we're going to do now um, is add a piece of uh, code that we've made as cells because we need to style the code we're going to use now. So what we want to do is find another hook. I want to put something right at the top of the page, up above this uh, top bit here. So I need to find the place on the page I want to use. So I'll go to genesistutorials.com visual hook guide and find something right at the top of the page. Genesis header before header, that sounds good, doesn't it? Genesis before header. We'll try this Genesis before header. We'll put our code there and see if that uh, suits us. So back to simple hooks. Search for the hook we want, Genesis before header, that's what I'm going to use. Now I need some code to paste in there. Now I've made some code. It really simple hooks comes into its own when you can actually write your own code. It's, it's made for pasting in code you've written yourself really. Anyway, all this is is just a div, which is a division or a sort of a, a box with a paragraph inside it with some text in the paragraph. So, so all we're going to put in at the moment is just that one line of code. It's the div class that that to classes just so we can style the text that we're going to use. So I'll paste that into simple hooks. In the box we're going to use, I'll paste it there and then we'll save it. Right, so now we've pasted it in the box and we've saved it. So we'll go back to our web page and up here we'll just see a little bit of text. You can see it just there that doggy walking service. But what I want to do is to style that, that uh, text. The important thing about using simple hooks is once you've pasted the HTML code into your page you've then got to style it in your style sheet. Otherwise it just um, you know, it won't look very good. So I've got I've made a little style sheet for it. This is all it is. What you've got to do you've got to have a unique name for your styles otherwise they'll clash with styles that are already in um, your uh, your style CSS and file. So I've made this and I'm going to paste this code at the bottom of my style sheet. So we need to go now to um, appearance editor and we're already in the style CSS. When you go to the editor it usually opens up in style in the style sheet. Be careful you don't edit any PHP files because you, you can easily break your website completely if you do that. So make sure you're getting the style sheet, style CSS. So most WordPress, most um, Studio Press themes have a style.css and that's what we're going to use. So we do go right down to the bottom of the page, paste our code in there, and then we'll update it and see if it's made any changes. So this bit of code here, this bit of text, it will now change because we've, we've added the style. There we go, we've styled it. Now what I want to do is make this appear only on the front page. It appears on every page at the moment, but using simple hooks we can add, if you know what conditional tags are, you can add conditional tags. Now this is not a video about making code, it's about just how the, um, the plugin works, but if you know how to add a, a conditional tag, all we need to do, this is the HTML we've already used, and we just need to wrap it in a conditional tag, which is this. So that's if it's home page, it'll do this. And if it isn't, it won't do it. So we'll wrap that, and we'll put that into simple hooks in the place where we've been using. Now then, yeah, that's the one. So all we need to do, paste the code in, and now we've got the code and the conditional tag. If you don't know conditional tags, don't worry, you don't have to use them. I would just, I just wanted you to know that you can, if you know how to use conditional tags, you can use them in simple hooks. We've pasted it into the box there. We now need to tell uh, simple hooks that we're going to use PHP on this particular hook. So you click the button there that says, the little text box, the little box that says execute PHP on this hook. If you're going to use short codes, click that one as well. And then click save. So now what we've got, if we go to the home page, we've got this, but it's not on any other page. And you can target any page you want, or things like categories, all kinds of different things using these conditional tags.
But the point I'm trying to make is you can use conditional tags in simple hooks. So that's more or less in a nutshell what simple hooks is. Basically what you do, you install simple hooks, then you decide where on your page you want to put your content. So we put one here and we put some content here. But to find out the hook we needed to use, we went to genesistutorials.com, visual hook guide, click that there, and then look for a, a hook that looks like it's in the right position where you might want to use it. You might want to use one above the sidebar here, or you might want to put one, you know, model, just, just find a place you want to put up to hang your content, and then copy the code for that particular piece of content. If you put anything inside the loop, see it says loop start here, beware if you put anything inside the loop, because what can happen, um, on your blog style page, if you put anything inside the loop, it might appear on every uh, one of these blog listings. So you might have 10 or 15 of your, your little pieces of content if you're not careful. So just beware of putting things inside the loop. Right, I've got some slides to sort of recap what we've done. So let's have a look. We're using Genesis Simple Hooks plugin. You've got to go to genesistutorials.com visual hook guide to find out which hook you want to use. And these are the hooks. So you just look in the page for a hook that looks like it's in the position you want to use. We wanted to put something under the nav bar, so we found, I think it was that one before content. If you wanted to put something above the sidebar, you might use this one. But that's the basic idea. Look for the place on the page you want to put your content and then use that hook. What you need to do, if you put your own code in, you need to put it, wrap the code in a div and make give the div a unique class or ID name. Make the name unique, because if it's not unique, it'll clash with other, um, with, with other uh, bits of code. And don't forget to add the CSS to the bottom of your style CSS file. So you need your HTML with a class so that your code would be here, wrapped in this div. And then add your CSS to the bottom of your style.css file. This is how we made the, um, uh, the conditional tag. What you've got to do, you've got to, you, you, you open PHP to run the conditional tag, but then you've got to close the conditional tag temporarily because you're going to use H, uh, HTML. And we can't put HTML inside PHP, so we had to open PHP, run the conditional code, close PHP temporarily so we could use the HTML, reopen PHP, and then close the whole bundle. This is like a, a parcel or a, a sandwich with your HTML in the middle. And that's the way you've got to do it, because otherwise you just can't put HTML inside the PHP. That, that's the reason why we have to do all that messing about. Uh, so ah, some boxes overlap. I don't know if you've ever come across this problem, but sometimes if you put, suppose you put some code in here, it might overlap the next box. It's a really common problem. But if your boxes overlap, what you want to do is add this div class clear line div. It's an empty div, but if you put that at the bottom of your HTML, uh, inside the, the the main div. Let's see. I don't know if we've got a. Um, Try and explain what I mean. Let's have a look. You would have to put it in there so it will be inside the div. You will put that to the, the the clear line uh, thing in there, so it will be inside the main div that uh, that you're using. If if you if if you know HTML, you, you'll understand what I mean. But this div class clear line will. It can help you stop your boxes breaking. And be careful if you're using if you're using any hook that's inside the loop because it can <laughs> your your content can just start appearing all over the place. Now well, we're back to the beginning. So that's it. Genesis simple hooks. And what you do, you install simple hooks, and then you decide on your page where you want to put your content. Here or here, wherever. Then you go to genesistutorials.com visual hook guide find the position on the page where you think you might want to put something and then just use the hook that goes with that position well that's more or less that thanks for watching and bye for now